belly dance, as I told, is one of the oldest dance forms in the world. And, but I think there is a link with burlesque. In the 19th century, it came to Europe and America. And then the people for the first time saw belly dance. And I think this is around the same time that burlesque, the history of burlesque yeah. started. Maybe you can tell something about it. Yeah, the history of burlesque is that the burlesque started ages ago. So in the 1800s, it was called slapstick. It was a kind of joke, a kind of, it was a performance with humor. <laughs> What happened when belly dance came from the eastern countries to Europe? What happened exactly? Yes, well the, the people in Europe and in America who first saw the belly dancers, they were really excited because they never saw these movements, these free movements of the body. Okay. And they can all watch this and they, they thought it was really also a little bit vulgar for the time. Okay. And also they really wanted to know everything about it. So they really were a hype. When, okay. they, when Little Egypt was in America and she was performing, everybody wants to know uh, about her. And there were other dancers who also called, uh, called them, themselves Little Egypt. Okay, that's very yes. exciting. Where could you see belly dance? Was it like in circuses or yes. where could you see belly dance? Uh, first of all, belly dance is a really... Uh, the, the form is, is big and there are many um, things you have to know about belly dance. Because belly dance is not only a theater performance art, because it's okay. also a social uh, dance form. So okay. you can also dance for the fun together, to make connection. So uh, it's on parties that the, uh, the, uh, the, the women or sometimes also male dance together, belly dance together. Then you can also do it on a stage. It's also a part of uh, wedding ceremonies. So actually it's a very cultural dance, but it's also a festivity. Yes, exactly. Okay, perfect. Exactly. Where burlesque actually is just, it's not really a cultural dance because it's so free and you can do and be whatever you want it to be. And that was also Back in the days, it was for everyone. It was it wasn't specifically cultural, yeah. so that's a big difference then between the two. The essential thing in burlesque is the tease. Yes. That's our technique, the tease. So sometimes you will have the most beautiful dress on, and you can only take your gloves off. Yes, you you are your own decision maker so you are the one who can make the decision what am i going to take off and if you choose to just take your gloves off you have to have that tease and you have to have the ability to stretch it out for five minutes to just use a glove yes so why do you guys keep it on yes well in, in uh, belly dance um i think in belly dance there is something you call like unveiling so we also okay, do unveiling. something uh, take something off like when we are dancing with veils yeah. And we unveil ourselves. But we never uh, will uh, take our bra off or our belt off. No, this of is course. not part of the dance, uh, not the intent. Maybe another no. intent. Yeah, we, uh, another like, intention. Yes. yes. Um, belly dance is um, an interpretation of the music. Okay. And you, uh, it's a manifestation, an, um, a physical and emotional manifestation okay. of the music. Yeah. So this is also a difference between burlesque because it can also be, of yeah. course, the same. But so this is yeah. also our third yeah. topic. We yeah. want to talk about the intention, intentions of burlesque and belly dance because we both have very different intentions on why we do what we do. And as you said, yeah. your intention is mostly, it comes from the music, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yes. And uh, because in burlesque, they, uh, you tell a story. Yeah. I really like this about burlesque, telling a story. I think we can also, belly dancers can learn this from burlesque, telling yeah. a story. Um, but in belly dance, we are more interpreting the music with our body. And yeah, we use the belly dance technique to bring this to a, to a whole. Okay, yes. to make it complete. Yeah. To make it complete, yes. And in burlesque, of course, um, you guys have a very, very spe specific technique. It is uh, all about how to isolate, how to move your body, and especially the music. And in burlesque, it's very different because in burlesque, you can do whatever you want, but it also depends on the performer that you are because um, music is really, really important because if you choose to be, if you are not choose to be, if you are a neo performer, you would use different music than, than you would if you're a classic performer. Because if you're, if you're a classic performer, you can use like, music from the 30s or the 50s it also depends if you're a flapper dancer it depends if you're a, a more pinup style 
So for us, music is also really important, but it also depends on the style of burlesque that and you choose is, to do. Yes. And this is similar, by the way, also in belly dance, because okay. we also have many different styles. Okay. And every different style has other music. So this is also a similarity. Can you tell me what different styles you guys have? Because I talked yeah. about the neo burlesque, the bump and grind, the classic. Yeah. What, what, you, what, what is belly dance like? The difference. To tell you the truth, belly dance is possible on all kinds of music. Okay. But uh, we mostly use Middle Eastern and uh, North African uh, music. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, there are also fusions because okay. there is also like the tribal fusion belly dance and they also use all kinds of technique, gothic, everything. So that's called the tribal fusion then? Yes, so you've got traditional yes. and you've got tribal fusion. Yes. Okay, that's very nice to know. <laughs> and then there are also many folkloristic styles, so it's, it's, there's it's a huge. Lot. It, is, it is huge, exactly. Yeah. So, yes, nice, huge. and what is the style that you do? I uh, do the, um, the cabaret style. The cabaret so style. This, yes, the classical belly dance style. You can call it classical belly dance style. Okay, yes. cool. <laughs>